am so excited for today's coffee chat, which I don't actually have coffee. This is a peppermint mocha shake. And also I just came up with this topic literally like 30 minutes ago because I woke up in a really bad mood. <laughs> I woke up not in the vortex, not in the vibe, not having it today whatsoever. And honestly, I was planning on skipping today's coffee chat because I just wasn't feeling it. And I was like, you know what? No, my website slogan is literally your only job is to feel good. So I'm gonna feel good. I'm gonna turn this day around. I'm gonna make December 1st the best freaking day ever. So if you woke up in a bad mood or you know, you're kind of just in a downward spiral because of everything going on, I'm gonna share a few tips to instantly boost your mood. And it's not the typical workout or meditate because that's great for you know just quality of life, but you need to be you need to have a list almost of ways to put yourself back into a good mood. And I wanna just remind you before we dive into all of this, your only job is to feel good. Your only job is to feel good. I don't care what your career is. I don't care what else is going on in your life. I do not care because your only job is to feel good because if you feel amazing, if you're in the vibe, you're going to pass that energy on to everybody else. It, it's like COVID. When you come in contact with somebody, you pass it on to them, not the vibe. That's what your energy does too. It's contagious in a sense. It goes to everybody else. So if you're in a good mood, your husband's gonna be in a good mood, your wife's gonna be in a good mood, your kids are gonna be in a good mood, your boss is gonna be in a good mood, and it causes a ripple effect throughout the world. And you staying in a bad mood isn't going to help anybody. And if you're sitting here thinking, okay, but shit's hitting the fan, I'm allowed to be in a bad mood. 100%, you are allowed to feel your feelings. They are valid, whatever you're feeling, yes, you are allowed to feel it. But will staying in that bad mood fix the problem? Will staying pissed off at the situation change anything? No. And the fastest way to change something is to change your belief about it, right? Nothing can change in the physical world unless you change your mindset about it. And what can you fix faster? Can you fix the situation faster? Can you fix the pandemic? Can you fix the situation going on at work? Can you fix blah, blah, blah in the next five seconds? Probably not. But can you fix your mood in the next five seconds? 100% you can. So there's a few ways that you can instantly change your mood. And like I said at the beginning of this, I'm not just gonna tell you to go like work out or meditate, cause that's great. That is great for a sustainable good mood. That's great for your quality of life. It gives you endorphins, it gives you a routine, which our mind really likes. Our brain loves the safety and the comfort of having a routine and a schedule. But when you're pissed off in this moment, a workout may just piss you off more. If you're pissed off in this moment or you're not in a good mood right now, you may not want to meditate. So how can you get yourself in a good mood when shit hits the fan right now? First things first, choose to see this differently. Literally say to the universe, God, source, whatever you believe in, I want to see this differently. Help me to see this differently. Gabby Bernstein refers to that as the holy instant. It refers to that as a miracle in this moment because you're deciding that you want to feel better. And it can be as simple as that, just saying simply, I choose to see this differently. And then your mind starts to think of ways to make you feel better. And everyone's list of ways to make them feel better is going to be different. And this was a journal prompt that I gave in Elevate Yourself and Income of what makes me feel good right now in this moment? What would feel really good right this moment? Maybe you need to go outside and get some sunshine. Maybe you need to do a dance party for one like I just did in the gym before I started my workout. Maybe you need to scream into a pillow. You can do whatever feels good for you, but it's so helpful to have an actual list of I'm in a pissed off mood, this is what's gonna make me feel better. And I know for a lot of ladies who took the course, I asked them, you know, show me your journal prompts like what came up for you. And a lot of them said a dance party for one helps so much. So close the blinds, turn on some music and dance around in your office or dance around your home or wherever you are. I know one of the ladies that I work with, she has a mini trampoline in her office so she can literally like jump the negative vibes out. For other people, going on a run works really well for them. For some people, maybe meditating actually does make them feel better, but it's gonna be customized to you and it's gonna be customized to the situation. Like I said, if you're really pissed off and this happens to me sometimes, if I'm pissed off, I don't wanna sit still and meditate. That's gonna piss me off more because now my mind's thinking about all the things going on and why I'm even more pissed. But if I get my body moving in a way that I want to, not necessarily doing a workout, but jumping around or dancing around, I feel a little bit better. And then when you start to feel a little bit better, you can move on to the next thing. Well, what will make me feel even better right now? 
What will make me feel even better right now? So just another example, something that really helps me in the morning when I wake up in a bad mood, I'll ask myself, what would make me feel better right now? Sometimes it's doing my full skincare routine, all like 15 steps that are completely crazy and unnecessary. Sometimes that makes me really feel good because it gives me a sense of accomplishment. And then after that, what would make me feel better right now? Making a really nice ass maple latte. Okay, after the latte, what will make me feel better right now? And just take it moment by moment. And I want you to remember that this isn't going to fix your problem. It's gonna make you feel better so that way you can think clearly to handle the situation. Because like I said before, you know, in the next five minutes, can you fix the situation in front of you? Probably not, but you can fix your attitude about it. And when you fix your attitude about it, then you can start thinking clearly instead of being pissed off at what's going on, you can come at it with a different, you know, set of eyes, a different perspective and actually find a solution of the highest good. And lastly, I just wanna remind you, everybody deserves you at your best, right? Everyone deserves you at your best. It is a disservice to show up not in alignment. It is a disservice to show up not in alignment. And I made this promise in my business years ago that I would never show up if I wasn't in the right energy. I wouldn't work out, I wouldn't send the email, I wouldn't respond to the DM, I wouldn't post the post, I wouldn't do the damn thing unless I was in alignment because people deserve you at your best. And like I said before, your energy causes a ripple effect. Especially if you're an entrepreneur, your energy is your business. Your energy is your business's blood, basically. You have to be happy. You know, the hive is only as healthy as the queen bee, as I've heard Amanda Francis say. The hive is only as healthy as the queen bee. If you're not in a good mood, if your energy is in alignment, nothing else is going to flow. And we could get into the whole talk about alignment and flow versus hustle and feminine and masculine energy, but let's leave it at this. Focus on your energy first. So before you go do anything else in your day, before you make the call, before you talk to the person before you put your work out into the world or whatever it is that you're doing today, ask yourself, am I in alignment? In a, am I in a good mood? If you're not, if you're not a 10 out of 10 and excited, then I want you to go do a dance party, jump around, make yourself a bougie ass cup of coffee, go for a drive and scream Taylor Swift songs at the top of your lung. Whatever it takes to feel good, do that and then show up and then show up because your vibes always speak louder than your words. So even if you show up and try to fake it till you'll make it on your Instagram stories, which I considered doing today for a hot second, I was like, I can totally fake that I'm fine. Like whatever, we'll just keep pushing through. Your vibes speak louder than your words. If you come up with honesty, which is what I did today, and then put yourself in a, back, in a better mood, that's way more helpful for people than you pretending that everything's okay. So let's stop pretending everything's okay Get yourself in a good mood so you can look at the situation that's bothering you with a better perspective. And now that you've asked the universe, hey, help me see this differently, or you asked whoever you believe in, hey, help me see this differently, maybe you'll get the inspired idea of how to fix the problem with ease, with grace, with flow, and it gets to be easy. And I want you to remember that. It gets to be easy. The struggle is not required. It gets to be easy. It gets to be fun. It gets to be as amazing as sex. I said it. It gets to be as amazing as sex. Every single thing in your life, your business, or if you have a job, or you know, just day-to-day -day life, it gets to be freaking amazing and fun and easy, but it starts with your mindset. And now that you, you know, can fix your mindset in an instant, start doing everything, start doing things every single day that supports your energy that makes you feel good. For me, that's working out and meditating and pulling tarot cards and affirmations and gratitude lists. Maybe yours is a little different. Maybe you do EFT tapping. Maybe you go for a nature walk every single day. Whatever it is, know how to put this into, you know, your instant moment. So have a list of things that you do. You know, if I'm pissed off right now, where's my list of things that I need to get my energy back immediately? But then also have your list of things that I do every single day to support my energetic well-being, we will call it. And a bunch of people asking, yes, I will save this live. I always save it. If it's short enough, I put it up on IGTV, but it always ends up on YouTube and it always gets sent out to my email list. So if you're not on my email list, just DM me your email and I'll put you on there so you don't miss it. And I am actually going to go work on that right now, unless there's any questions. I'm just gonna scroll up really quick 
Thanks for the love and thanks for hopping on. Perfect. So I will get this up on YouTube ASAP and also the link to all the old coffee chats and the replays are in the link in my bio if you missed any of those. But I'm going to get this up so I can send it out to you. And cheers to a kick-ass December. I hope you were in a good-ass mood and ready to kick some ass this month.